I want to do a video showing the lowest price point in Barrie for a one bedroom condo up to the highest price point condo. I'm going to talk about different types of constructions, going to talk about areas, going to talk about maintenance fees as well. So let's begin. So this is 65 Allen Street. The location's dynamite. It's right on the it's right on the, the lake shore, as you can see. This is the building. There's another part over here. No, it's both of them right there. Great, great location. Um, lovely views of the bay. Here's the problem with that building. First, I'm going to go through the pictures of, of, of it first. And let's hopefully we can. You get good value there. I'm going to talk about it and flip through the pictures. You're going to see some datedness. The building's probably about 35 years old in that range, 30 to 40, we're going to say, to be safer. So some units are going to be more updated than others. You can see it needs a bit of updating. Not a bad floor plan, not a bad um, use of space, not cut up. Of course, the pictures freeze. So this is, I think this is overlooking more on the lakeshore going down. You're not going to get a full water view of this in this unit based on the price point and based on the model. But location is good. Full concrete construction. The unit doesn't show that bad. It shows okay. You got some facilities there. This building is mainly um, a demographic, an older demographic. Okay, I've seen a, a lot of, uh, I've shown that building many times. I did some deals in that property as well. Older demographic. Fitness room. Got some facilities there as well. Love everything about the location. Here's what I don't love. Condo fee, $605.43 for a one bedroom, one bathroom. That's high for a lot of people. Taxes are $23.96, 12 days on the market, $339. One other thing I don't like about it. About maybe five years ago, let me just pull this whole thing, this picture of this building. All these, both buildings here had to get re-stuccoed and, and basically re-foamed behind. So water got in behind the stucco. There was a massive, massive bill for this. So they put a special assessment on this. So what that means is that the unit owners had to pay more expenses to cover the cost. It's not good when, you know, um, that happens. People get scared of that. To me, it, it, it impacts valuation. And I'm not saying that 339 isn't warranted for the unit, but it's a high common element fee too. Um, and anytime you get a, a condo building, you always need to make sure you're getting a status certificate and get a lawyer to review it. Review the financials, review regulations, um, amenities, stuff like that. It's really, really important. Once you go, I'm not gonna be able to go through every unit on here, but I'm going to go through a few on here with it. That's one location I definitely want to hit on. Um, Coulter. Let's go to Coulter. I find there's some good value there. Again, these are all one bedrooms. Now, this building is a bit picture here. You're going to get some wood construction in here. So you're going to hear some, some noise um, at times. Uh, I've heard it in the past from this builder. And it's typically in these low rise, you know, five floors and under. They're not full concrete. You're going to get the full concrete in a building like, you know, Allen in a sense, um, Lake House, condos on Blake Street, any high rise, you're going to see that. Not on these. Not a bad location. I find there's some good value in here. So let's just kind of go seven days on market, one bedroom, one bath. Again, look at the fees, $607. There's no facilities there. That's a lot of money every every month coming out of your account. Floor plan six to seven hundred square feet. Fees include building insurance, common elements, and parking. That's pretty standard. We'll take a quick look at it. Again, they will struggle. The price is great. This isn't great. It's hard for someone to qualify by themselves on a unit like that. And when you put in the common element, you six oh seven. This is just off of, it's up the north end, just behind Bayfield Street. Tons of shopping. Like, area's okay. It's just the fees really impact. 
the sale and valuations of these buildings. And there's a few other ones like that um, that have high fees and they sit on the market because the erodes affordability for people. I love the floor plan. Nothing wrong with the floor plan. Nothing wrong with the price. It, it, it's just the common element fee that's going to you know be expensive. And you see some playground. I don't see. I see a younger demographic in some of these but I don't see it filled with kids as well. Great starter for somebody to get into the market, but I, I just would stay away from it because of the common element fee. So this is a Bayfield mall behind. So it's Bayfield's more over this way as well. You know, not the most glamorous thing to look at as well, but you know, they, they're not bad. Their location's not that bad. Um, let me just see if I can find one. I'm not going to go through any leaseholds. I, I don't want to touch those at all. This is a fairly new building, um, six to 10 on Wolseley, four, 418, one bedroom, one bath. Look at the fees, 608, building insurance, common element and parking. Again, it's a lot of money for someone to carry by themselves with that fee. And there's cheaper buildings with one bedrooms with a lot more amenities um, that are cheap, that are, you know, the user can use. It's just, I mean, it's a new building. I like this downtown location. Here's my concern with the downtown location, especially this one. Just up the road, we got a Busby Center, um, which kind of helps, you know, people struggling with addiction. Um, a safe injection site in there as well, I've heard. So a lot of homeless drug addiction in that area. Um, several break-ins from law offices, homes. Um, that kind of thing is going to be in the downtown core area. It will take some time. It will. My thoughts are it will get worse before it gets better. I really believe that the downtown core is changing. With you know, there's lots of condo projects that are on the books right now. Some are being built. I live at one at Lake House. I love the location. I don't love the downtown um, core that comes with this um, location. Uh, I see drug addiction at the time. I see a lot of homeless people um, and no disrespect to that, but it, there was just some social issues within the downtown core. And I really believe that these are in lots of communities in, in this province today. You know, this is a small unit, small, small, small. Very expensive condo fees. Okay, views. Expensive condo fees. Concrete construction. You got some amenities like a gym and a party room, but if you're not using those, it's tough. This is going to be a common area for people too. go through that's one building I wanted to go through Lakeside Terrace let's go over here one bedroom I've sold over here a couple years ago small 505.99 one bedroom one bathroom kind of fees 390 manageable underground parking what I like about that area um, it's close to a lot of amenities the highway 400 is right there depending on where your unit is going to be you're going to hear some noise some traffic noise but a fairly new building, manageable condo fees um, right across the road on Duckworth. No, sorry, Cundles. They've got a lot of new amenities, a lot of grocery stores, movie theaters, restaurant, Tim Hortons, Starbucks. So it's built up a lot there, which I really think it's beneficial for um, these people that live in this, in this building because they can just walk right next door. Not a bad unit. They're tiny. And this looks like it's big. It's not. I sold one a few years ago. Um, one bedroom and a den. I'm sorry, no den. Just a with a balcony like this, very similar. Um, that's the only problem with it. I, I, I do like the location. I think there's some decent value. Um, someone looking for a commuter location. Close to Highway 400, getting into the market, by all means. Absolutely. Um, when I've done some open houses in that building, I've noticed a lot of a younger demographic, some rentals in there as well, but I didn't mind it. I thought it had some decent value. 
You're going to see there's three or four buildings in here. You've got a view of Little Lake Park as well, depending on your location. Um, and there's the Highway 400 as well. Concrete, you're not going to hear too much noise at all compared to the wood construction ones. There's your common room. And I think there's another part of this too. There's a few buildings that are scheduled in that area too. 400, over here is Georgian College area, RBH Hospital. Another view. This is a retirement residence. And there's the floor plan. Let's go. Um, 140 Dunlop Street, downtown. Let's look at this one. Seven to 799 square feet. This building's at least, I lived in this building some years ago, um, 35, maybe 40. 14 days on market, 450. Common fees, $900. This is the problem. Older buildings going to need more maintenance. But in saying that, they're saying taxes are included. Uh, Taxes are included. I'm almost certain of that. It's rare to see a condo building with taxes included in it. In it. Heat's included. Water's included. Hydro's included. Uh, underground parking is included. They have a pool. They have some good amenities. It's downtown right across uh, you know, from Lake Simcoe. You can kind of see it. Hopefully these pictures will show us it too as well. We'll go through them. No balconies. I like the building. It's well-managed building. You got some restaurants down below in here, and this leads into the downtown core area. Again, there's some social issues downtown with uh, homeless issues and you know drug addiction, but not a bad unit. It's just the condo common element fees, and this has been updated. Like this, this building, this this unit shows fairly well. This is one of the more updated um, units that I've seen in that building. Decent floor plan. It's just the $900. So again, someone qualifying to do that, they qualify for the mortgage, but they can't qualify for the common element fee. So if someone's really conscious about a lower common element fee, they need to look at that younger buildings because they're always lower. As the building ages, you get into more costs and more um, things needed such as windows, boilers, um, facilities updated, carpets, et cetera, throughout, because you're paying for that. But decent facilities, um, this pool doesn't get used much. There's a hot tub back here as well. But I like the building, well-maintained, well-managed, right across the street, right there. Let's go to... And there's a few listed in that where from 450 right to 459. Um, culinary lane. This one, I showed this one there last weekend. Um, I like the location. I'm just going to flip over here. Um, this is the unit here, ground floor. What I don't like is there's lots of buildings over here. There's some over here and there's some over there and there's being more built. It's just off of Maple View. It's going to be a busy area. Okay. Um, I, uh, Noticed a younger demographic in there, some seniors, but more younger demographic, probably new homeowners, maybe renters as well, um, wood construction. So you're going to hear some noise in that building. But the building's new. I found visitor parking, very limited on, on visitor parking. We had a hard time finding visitor parking and not enough for it because it, there's there's so many buildings, it just gets eaten up. So that's lacking in that area is visitor parking. So if you have frequent guests, it may be tough for parking. I like the floor plan and and the builder's pride and, and I do love their one better floor plans. I think they're spaced out very, very well. Condo fees are very manageable. We're gonna go through that in a minute and some, some nice features to the unit. I'm not a big fan on the ground floor from a resale standpoint, um, depending on the demographic, if someone's older, they're not going to love, you know, that being very secure because someone can just hop over and kind of, you know, access the unit possibly. So 
think about that when you some if you're looking for a one bedroom i'd avoid the ground floor because from a resale standpoint an older couple or an older person is not going to be comfortable with the ground floor um i think there's a gym and for some facilities in here but you can kind of see how big the one two three four five six there's going to be some back there and I circled around here about five times looking for visitor parking and back here it's construction. So I wasn't going to walk and get all, you know, footwear dirty and bring it into units. So it, that was the drawback for that area. And you can kind of see where this is clear. There's going to be two or three more buildings coming in that area. But fees, 332. Yes, there's an elevator, building insurance, parking's included. Uh, private. I don't know. Some are underground, some aren't. My suggestion, someone's looking for a condo and they have that option of underground. That's the one you want to be at. It's pretty nice when you go to your car and it's not full of rain and snow, etc. It's a plus coming, re coming from a resale standpoint. Barbecues are allowed and there is a gym. Mm -hmm. Candles. Okay, this one's, well, let's go through this one too. 295 Cundles this is close to the lakeside one, um, right on Cundles Street. One bedroom, one bathroom, small. Well, actually, not bad. Seven to seven ninety nine. Condo fees manageable. Three seventy seven ninety zero to five. This is about three years old. Exclusive use. I don't. I don't. No underground parking in there. Listed fifty four days. It's tenanted. Let's talk about tenanted properties. A lot of people are staying away from the tenanted properties because of the backlog with a landlord tenant board. It takes months to get in front of, of, of a judge and to get a hearing to be scheduled. They're all on Zoom. Last time I checked, we did a, a video episode on it. There were 53,000 unresolved cases yet. So it's taking eight to nine months. So and we've seen in the last couple of years that, you know, the seller gets a sale on the unit or the seller gets a sale on the home and the tenants just refuse to leave. And even though they've signed an N11, or doesn't mean anything, they need a court order to, for an eviction. So they don't have that, you're rolling the dice. And this is why 54 days on market's not uncommon for a tenant to property. But let's take a quick look at it. Location's decent. Decent floor plan. I like the size. I like the common element fees. I just don't like that it's tenanted. And these are all active listings. And again, as we progress through spring and get into warm weather, we're going to see a lot more one bedrooms come available. Decent balcony, not bad, not a bad price point. The concern is the tenant and I love the common fees. Let's go back. As we progress here, we're going to get into higher, some higher ranges. 75 balance, same as 65 Allen, with I talked about at the beginning of the listing. So look at the big difference from 359 to 489. Again, we won't look at this, but look at the maintenance fees, 467. It's a hard sell. 681 Young Street, uh, new building, love the location of it. Concrete, um, lots of, but you probably won't see it, but we'll see if it is. Lots of amenities, shopping, um, Grocery stores, highway access. I like the location. Rooftop patio, as I was up there last week showing in that building, decent. I didn't mind the floor plan. So this one isn't facing Young Street, which is good. The units that I showed were facing Young. So you're going to hear, when you're sitting out in the balcony, you're going to hear a lot of traffic noise off, off that location. You're going to hear some here, but not as bad as being a front unit on there. And I find some of the price points are kind of sales in there are kind of all over the map. So depending on the location of where the unit's placed, where what view you got will reflect the price point as well. I think this at 49 is a little high based on some sales in there. There's one that sold, firmed up on the board for 4429, a one bedroom and a den. It was facing young. We went outside, shut the door, hear a lot of traffic, and that was midday. This one isn't, so we're looking at the parking lot, but I know you're going to hear some. Young Street's a busy street. Condo fees, 379.60 include heat, central air. 
again, I'm noticing a lot of errors in this. So if someone's putting something together as an offer with their agent, just put, you know, these subject to status certificate, meaning that just they'll they'll let you know what's included in, in there because I'm seeing a different listings in there. He's included, some aren't included, water's included, it's not included in others. It doesn't make sense to me. So just put as per status certificate because I'm really not sure with it. Um, listed seven, eight days. As, as again, as I mentioned, I found the price kind of high. What's, what's going on there? Um, again, Spiceway, I'll show you this one. It has a conditional offer on it today. I like the unit. I showed it as well. Again, some pricing that, that I've noticed in that whole area four or five months ago, we're selling for 425 for one bedroom plus 10. And they had this at 489. I thought it was kind of high, but they got an offer on it. It was nice. It was presented very well. And I found viewing it in person was, was, uh, showed much better in person does in these pictures and it shows well i just found it kind of cluttery looking at the pictures but when i got there it wasn't common fees are good again you know my concerns visitor parking wood construction you know good area uh, uh, nothing wrong with the location like it was a well-maintained unit uh, I, there's the den which is you know and there was a closet back over here i believe um you could fit it you know a lot of people using these dens as bedrooms today Barbecues are allowed. There's the ghost station. There's shopping over here off of, off of uh, so Maple View here and then Young over there. Um, you can take Maple View straight right up to the Highway 400 access. It's all double lanes, goes fairly quickly. A few traffic lights, but not bad. Um, schools in the area, high schools just built over off of Maple View over that way. You've got a Catholic school, public schools, all with kind of walking distance, kind of, so close by, but I'm not seeing a lot of kids and there's a floor plan as well. Young professionals more than anything I'm seeing. Okay, let's go. Let's get into some higher one bedroom ones that I kind of want to show. Here's my favorite, one of my favorite buildings. It's Ellen Street. 57 days in the market, 319, sorry, 619, 800, owner occupied. Condo fees are 534, 69, but you got a lot of goodies in there. You got pools, you got hot tubs, you got sauna, you got games room, a um, lot of common areas. Well maintained building. One of my favorite buildings um, in the community. I used to live in that building a few years back and I, and I did enjoy it quite a bit right across from the waterfront we're going to go through some of that too what i did find is that um one bedrooms take a little bit longer to sell depending because again it's that one person caring for it and the costs and then i what i also found is that a couple wanted a two bedroom and it's a little older demographic let's just say 55 and up there's some young people there too um they want the two bedroom because of the grandkids staying over so one bedrooms took a little it took the right buyer well-maintained building, condo fees are manageable. I do, I can't say enough about the building. I really like it. The building's about 16 years old. Um, it gets busy in the summertime across the road, for sure, with a lot of people coming up from the city and uh, enjoying this Tenyo Beach. So traffic picks up a ton in the summertime, and so does the noise. You will hear that in the balconies, but it is what it is. And I've seen some sell in that range, six, six, ten in that range. It just they just take some time to sell. But a decent floor plan, um, quiet building, no issues. This view's facing facing um, the north here, so you get a bit of the marine in here. The preferred is on the other side where you're facing the south, and there's just not a lot of those units available right now. I have clients looking and we just can't find one. But definitely my top list for sure. And no one uses the facilities. I think I was, when I lived there for three years, I was down there five nights a week. You, using the pool, having the hot tub over here in a sauna. 
So if someone's looking for peace and quiet, go down there. No one's using them. Very little people using the pool tables and the shuffleboard here. And there's a ping pong table back here. They have a men's night sometimes with you know a couple of guys playing pool. Um, usually have a Friday night club that comes down for a glass of wine. You know, you know, get together in a chat. But um, I know a lot of people in that building. It's great and use a better idea of you know the views are incredible. As you can see, the preferred view is the south here. So you got more of the water, not such parking lots, and more of the the downtown core, but more of, of the scenic of the water. Um, nice boardwalk coming all the way, and it goes for about, um, if we start way back here, you're doing around the bay, it's, it's five and a half, six K definitely gets utilized a lot. You get a better idea. Lots of parking too. It, it, it's just a nice scenic walk. But it's one of my favorite buildings in the community. Let's see what else we can see. Um, bum, 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 bum. So we covered a lot of low price points up to the higher price points. Um, let's cover off one on Toronto Street. We'll go to Lake House, and this is where I live, and I can talk a little bit more about that building as well. Um, 39 days in the market, a one bedroom, two bathroom, two piece in the main, and a three piece, probably an ensuite. Condo fee 704. Big difference from Nautic at 534 to seven. A couple hundred bucks more. Um, whoa, let's just see the size of this. this is saying 12 to 1300 square feet. Let's just double check that. Condo fees, building insurance, common elements, water is included, which is pretty standard. This is one better than den. So there we go. It tells me a bit more about, about it. So the den's up top. Like you can kind of see how, you know, this, this unit is definitely upgraded, definitely upgraded kitchen. Islands, appliances, lighting. I think the bedroom's upstairs. Nice fireplace. So, you know, this has been completely redone. I think they should have wiped down the island. There's the loft. So here's let's just talk about that. The bedroom could be upstairs too. Predominantly an older demographic. An older demographic is now walking stairs. So if anyone's thinking about purchasing a unit with stairs to access the bedrooms and stuff like that, don't do it. It's too, it's hard for, for resale right there because typically in Barrie, it's an older demographic that are going there 16 above. I mean, I see some young people, but mainly an older demographic due to the location, nice building, well looked after, nice grounds, nothing bad to say about it. Um, I, I, I love this. Like you've got a few, I, I love all this. I love it to death. I don't love this. And you can kind of see it's still under construction. Um, for me, yeah, sign me up. I can do those stairs, no problem. I just think from a resale standpoint, I would never buy it because of that. Great views. Love it. They've done a complete overhaul in this. And I'll, and I'll read the comments. There's probably the loft, but yeah, I like it, but I don't want to see people, you know, go out and buy that and then try to sell it five years from now and you're going to get killed on the stairs for sure. Good view. Nothing wrong with the view. Let's go to the comments. Um, oh, my concept one bedroom plus den, two story loft suite, Grand Harbor with amazing panoramic views of Kevin Felt Bay and city lights properties in various stages of renovation waiting for a personal touch. So it doesn't say they are finishing them in various stages, waiting for your personal. That, that could be a, what happened. Why isn't it getting done? Please note, no offers will be accepted during the first 10 days of listing. Unique key largo model with 18-foot ceilings and a wall of glass overlooking various waterfront. Well, 39 days. So no one raced out to do that. 2% um, commission. Let's just double check. They started off at 749 Taxes. Let me just go to taxes. Forty seven hundred bucks. You're paying a little bit more in taxes for this location as well as Nautica as well. Um, you're going to the other ones that we view lower price points. Definitely under three twenty two to twenty five mainly. Sellers Toronto Dominion Bank. So here's what I'm thinking. 
Um, probably went power sale possibly because banks aren't in the real estate business of buying properties and selling them. So they've probably took rid of possession and got it. Maybe that, you know, who knows what happened. There's going to be many things. I like the stuff that they've done. I don't like the price point and things aren't finished in that building. Sorry, in that unit. But the upgrades that they got done for the right buyer, yes. I'm concerned about the stairs for your typical buyer. Let's go over to... 185 Dunlop Street. It's the lake house. It's, I live in the lake house. I have a unit right here overlooking the bay. So it's a one bedroom and a den. These are typically one bedroom and a den, but they're going to come up as a one bedroom. Um, let me just double check. I don't think, no, this isn't, this is the fake one I call it. Let me just see. There's another one here. Um, one of five. New building. So common fees are low. Two bathrooms, eight to 899. I just want to make sure offering excuse of user like yeah it's a visa one and show you um they have similar um the water sides always of course is in high demand they're going to have areas up here for um entertaining they're going to have a barbecue area up there plus some lounging area on the other side one or the other with um fire tables and stuff like that so that's going to be breathtaking you buy it here for the view Again, you're in the downtown core area further down. As you know, I've talked to several times in this video about my concerns. This is a smaller balcony, but there's your one better, this, sorry, this is a living area. Here is the door to get out to the, to access the balcony. It's small, about 72 square feet. Um, that impacts some valuations where I've seen some other ones selling for 845 with a larger 192 square foot balcony, which I have one, which is a little bit more space and utilizing, you don't feel so crammed. And you'll see more coming up for sale. Nice finishes. There's your access through here. Your balcony small, but you have a bedroom, great view of the water. Excuse me, living area as well. Um, they have some other units on the city side too. A little bit cheaper, but I kind of want to just go through the, this one at the highest price point in a sense. And how we went from 350 to 8 and change. But nice building, still facilities have to are done yet. A little frustrating on my part because uh, I want to use them all. They're going to have a hot tub. They're going to have a steam. They're going to have a sauna. A great workout room. Everything's overlooking the water. That's the that's the plus about this location. Um, down here is is the party room. In this way, um, you can access the house. beautiful, stunning party uh, party room in there that that people and owners can utilize and use. I don't think there's some pictures, but it's fully not done yet. It's almost done, but you can kind of see that the views are 10 plus. And that's the people that are they're looking at Lake House mainly are, are interested in the water side. So any questions on one of Edmund Condos and Barry went through a lot of different ranges. Give me a call. Happy to answer any questions you have. Um, anyone that wants to see something, give me a call, reach out, just questions in general, or leave a comment. Enjoy the afternoon.